In this tutorial, I'll explain how to use the replace function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you a quick example. And this example is based on the vector object that we can create with line two of the code. So if you run line two of the code, you can see at the top right of R Studio that a new vector object is appearing, which is called X. And we can print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 10 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a vector object containing 10 integer elements ranging from the value one to the value 10. So let's assume that we want to replace some of the values in this vector object. Then we can apply the replace function as you can see in line five of the code. And within the replace function, you need to specify the name of the vector object in which you want to replace certain values. So in this case, our vector object is called X. Then you need to specify all values that should be replaced in this vector. So in this case, we are replacing the values three and eight. And then you need to specify the value that should be inserted instead of the values that you want to replace. So in this case, I'm replacing the values three and eight by the value 99. So if you run line five of the code, another vector is printed to the bottom in the RStudio console. And as you can see in this vector object, we have replaced the values three and eight by the value 99. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.